Welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today, we're going to be going over this 20 gallon long down here. It's one of my first cherry shrimp tanks, one of my first 20 long tanks, one of my first tanks. <laughs> Aquatics. What I do here is I'm journaling my experiences in the aquarium hobby. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see my next upcoming video, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I post my next video. This is a 20 long. It's got one of my favorite plants in it, the Bulbitis. I got this, it was only like two or three stems. Slow growing, but it's growing and it's like one of my absolute favorites. This, I don't know what this is. The pain in my neck. Got a funny feeling it's some kind of invasive weed that came in on this crib right here. No, it's not the crib. I mean, it is a crib. This is the crib I'm talking about. This one. Oh my gosh, this was so tiny when I got it. I didn't think it was ever going to grow. Look at it now. Woohoo! <laughs> but I just got three rose baddis and three gudgeon go peacock gudgeon gobies. And they're all in this tank right now. And I already had four pygmy quarry cats. My, my local fish store, I don't ever remember seeing these lettuces. But the other Dario Dario. Or the uh, Peacock Gudgeon Gobi. So I, I just had to get them now. But this is like one of my first 20 longs. And it sits underneath my 55 gallon Mbuna tank. And it's such a shame. I don't think I ever want tanks on the floor again. I mean, I just, I'm too old and I'm too fat to get down here. So I'm gonna be expanding my basement a little bit and hopefully I'll be able to, because this is one of my favorite tanks. This was where I started learning about planted tanks. This is where I started learning about shrimp. I have a matten filter over in the corner my very first piece of driftwood with the bulbitis on it. I have this, these were my very first crypts. I have a lot of firsts going on in here and this is my very first weed, whatever this is. And I'm sure you guys will know what it is. There it is, that. Ugh, I can't even, I can't even begin. I think I like duckweed better because at least duckweed I know I can throw it in by the handfuls into my my koi tank or my goldfish tank and but this stuff it gets intermixed and once it's in something I never want to use this plant like there's not one plant in this tank that I would take and divide and put somewhere else and just knowing that the stuff is in there yeah. and I know I only got three of each but they're very active so I keep thinking like this is the most activity I've seen in this tank because my cherry shrimp usually just, you know, I see them once in a while when it comes time to feed. Where's this guy? He's one of my older cherries. I keep tabs on him. Plecos disappear, the pygmy quarries. I see once in a while. So that was one of my first 20 gallon long tanks. I really like that size. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks, guys.